So I'm Daniel Whitenack, um, and I work uh, at a company called Pachyderm. Um, so you'll hear a little bit more about Pachyderm here in a second. Um, so I'll, I'll leave that off for now. Also, I just wanted to let you know, since um, all of you being machine learning people um, and also at KubeCon, I imagine that practicality is something that you value. Um, and I'm just launching uh, this uh, practical AI podcast with uh, Chris Benson, um, at, uh, who's a chief uh, scientist at Honeywell. Um, it's being produced by the Changelog. So keep an eye on that. We're going to have a, a episode all about Kubeflow um, soon, uh, so, so keep an eye on that. Um, so the, the ML use case that I really work on with Pachyderm is creating platforms for large companies or small companies um, that, that allow them to do scalable language agnostic version data pipelining and data management. So let's kind of unpack each of those things. So scalable, I think, makes sense to you. Language agnostic makes sense to you. We're at KubeCon, everything's containers, that's good. Um, version, um, I'm gonna talk a lot about that uh, in, my, in my talk on Thursday. Um, but basically what, what I'm talking about there is creating data pipelines that are sustainable over time, such that the data and the code and the processing that you do is all versioned and tracked so that you can tie any particular result back to all the processing and data that actually led to that particular result. Um, and by data pipelining, I'm meaning that we're, we're working on these workflows that are inherently multi-stage, as, as Clive was talking about. Um, and we, we also treat this data management piece. Um, so a, a lot of, there's a lot of frameworks out there for processing and running machine learning algorithms. Um, but, but the one that we work on at Pachyderm, um, which is called Pachyderm, is, is kind of a unified view of both data processing and data management management. Um, we, uh, as I mentioned, we're, um, we have a bunch of production deploys of, of Pachyderm. So Pachyderm itself is an open source project. Um, there's a company around it. Um, but the, the core is open source, um, and, uh, and we're working with a bunch of different companies, but we have uh, pipelines in, in production running TensorFlow and, and PyTorch and a bunch of other weird stuff, including like bioinformatics things and all of stuff I don't know about. Um, but uh, we have, you know, clusters. We work with people up to kind of like 1,500 node clusters uh, doing a bunch of image processing and other stuff like that. Um, okay, so just a, a quick talk advertisement. So I'm going to be talking about compliant data management and machine learning on Kubernetes on Thursday. Um, so make a note about that. Uh, I know most of that title is really exciting for everybody. Um, and then when I add the word compliant in, then everybody no longer attends my talk. Um, so, uh, or gets sad or, or gets scared or something. But I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with it. There's gonna be a live demo. And again, we're gonna be talking about, you know, uh, actually putting pipelines into production that can be sustained over time in the face of, you know, increasing regulation, especially in the, in the EU. Um, so just to give you kind of a little taste of that, um, which uh, Clive set up great for me, um, you know, we're, we're going to have this full data pipeline that's being driven by, by Pachyderm, um, pre-processing of data, training, and model export. Um, I'm going to show kind of and, and motivate how um, both Kubeflow and Pachyderm can work together, where Kubeflow provides a lot of the distributed, uh, distributed elements that um, are needed in machine learning. Pachyderm can do that orchestration and data management piece, and then we can hand off kind of that, that trained model at the end and that artifact to something like Selden uh, for serving, all, all while keeping all of that, you know, extremely rigorously tracked and versioned all along the way from code to data to Docker images um, to actually artifacts that are deployed for serving. Um, so that's me. All right. <laughs>